everybody. This is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, with today's option selling question of the day. Today's question comes from Ken. And I've titled this presentation, Should I Unwind Both Legs of My Covered Call Trade or Allow Assignment? Here's the question. Alan, using real data from my attached RCL covered call, the Unwind Now tab of the Trade Management Calculator Worksheet tab shows a 2.10% return, 35% annualized. Notwithstanding the alternatives of rolling out or rolling out and up, this result may give the impression that unwinding is worthwhile. But might it be more worthwhile to let the option be assigned where we get a 2.43% return? And it's signed regards, Ken. All right, Ken, let's do it. Let's break down this RCL trade and see if we can make some sense of this. So uh, here are the attachments that Ken provided with his question on his trades with Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol RCL. So on 2.924, 100 shares were purchased at $119.90. Immediately, one option contract with an expiration of 3-1-2024, so it's less than one month out, of the out-of-the-money 121 strike was sold at $1.80. Now, on expiration Friday, 3-1-24, RCL was trading well above that 121 strike, it was trading actually at 125. So the 121 strike was $4 in the money. Now the ask price to close or the cost to close that 121 strike was $4.40. Now since the strike was $4 in the money, that meant that the actual time value component of the cost to close was 40 cents. Okay, let's move on now and have a look at the Unwind Now worksheet tab of the BCI Trade Management Calculator that Ken was using to uh, come to these conclusions. So we could see on the top part of the spreadsheet, which is actually the left side, uh, I'll show you the right side coming up soon. We enter that RCL on 2.924 was trading at 119.90. The 121 strike was sold at $1.80, and that was for an expiration of 3124. The date that I received this information was 3124. That was actually expiration Friday. If you're familiar with the BCI methodology, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, wait a minute, did Ken use the wrong worksheet tab? Maybe he should have used the what now tab for rolling out instead of the unwind now tab uh, to close both legs of the contract mid-contract. And you'd be right. Uh, this was not the best worksheet tab to use. We'll get to that. Okay, so we enter over here on the spreadsheet that the current price of the security was 125 and the cost to close was 440. Uh, remember that of that 440, $4 was intrinsic value, the amount that the 121 strike was lower than current market value, and that left 40 cents of time value. Now, if we look at the right side of that spreadsheet, we get our calculations, and here's where Ken got those results from uh, that he included in his question. So the, if we unwind, we end up with a result of 2.10%, and the cost to and that was 35% annualized, the cost to close was $4 or $40 per contract. And that represented a debit of minus 0.33%. So if we add that back on to the 2.10%, that's where you get the 2.43% if assigned. So you could see that the difference that Ken noticed from this worksheet tab is that a greater result would be achieved if, in fact, we allowed assignment, okay? 
But again, this unwind now tab is meant for mid contract exit strategies. So almost all the time, not all the time, but almost all the time. So uh, that means that if we do unwind and we see that the cost to close from a percentile perspective is 0.33%, we ask ourselves, can we generate 1% greater than the time value cost to close? In this case, 1.33% or more. And then we might decide to close mid-contract to create a second income stream. But in this particular case, it was not mid-contract. It was, it was expiration Friday. And there we wouldn't usually unwind unless it was a very volatile day, hoping to... Uh, again, use that cash to enter a new trade with only hours left to expiration. So the appropriate tab would have been the, un, the uh, what now tab for rolling. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, have a discussion and conclusions regarding Ken's trade. Allowing assignment will result in slightly greater returns due to that time value cost to close, which in this case was 0.3% minuscule. The unwind now worksheet tab of the trade management calculator is generally reserved for the mid-contract unwind exit strategy, not for action taken as expiration approaches. And there are a few exceptions. I've actually published articles where I actually use the MCU exit strategy as expiration was approaching, but those are on extremely, extremely volatile days. Now, we, uh, we evaluate that uh, mid-contract if we can generate at least 1% more than the time value cost to close. In this case, it would be more than 1.33%. Okay, so once again, can use the wrong tab, and that's okay, because now he knows moving forward which tab to use to generate those calculations. And he, he learned that lesson as he made very good money on this trade. Um, and again, more appropriate as expiration approaches is the what now tab, which will guide us in our rolling out uh, decisions. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, Ken, that was a very valuable question for us. Uh, but before I go, I just want to remind everybody that the entire library of Ask Allen videos, uh, well over 200 now, is archived only in one place. And that's on the premium member site. Uh, so for all of our premium members, you log in, scroll down where it says Ask Allen. You'll see the first 10 and then click on the tab to get the over 200 remaining videos. And we add a new one every single month. On the right side, if you scroll up, you can't see it here in this screenshot, uh, to A for Ask Allen video topics. In case you want to scroll through those to see which one you want to review. I'll briefly remember our three best discounted packages. The first one is our BCI package, which is an acronym for our best and most comprehensive investment package. Uh, it consists of six online video courses, six spreadsheets developed by the Blue Collar Investor, five of our best selling books in ebook format, and our 13 month premium membership, which includes the four reports for eligible option. Uh, candidates, as well as over 250 training videos and dozens of other resources and downloads. The second of our best discounted packages is our trade management calculator package, which includes our best and most recent spreadsheet, the trade management calculator, TMC, a must, ladies and gentlemen, for covered call writing and selling cash secured puts. It also includes its 28 page user guide and a PDF of my eighth book, Exit Strategies for Covered Call Writing and Selling Care Secured Puts. That's 27 chapters of exit strategy information. The third of our best discounted packages is the CEO package, which is an acronym for combining exchange traded funds with stock options. It's a streamlined approach to covered call writing. It includes two spreadsheets, one to help us set up our portfolios, and another to archive our results and compare it to that of the S&P 500. Where to get more information on these packages, 
go to our website, thebluecollarinvestor.com, click on the link at the top that says best discounted packages, and there's videos and uh, information regarding those best discounted packages. You can also go to the bluecollarinvestor.com slash store and purchase items individually. Folks, I want to thank Ken very, very much for an important and valuable question that I was able to share with the entire BCI community. And of course, I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch and listen to this Ask Allen video. Should I unwind both legs of my covered call trade or allow assignment? Folks, I hope you enjoyed this presentation, but more importantly, I hope it puts cash in your pockets. As always, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor. Take care, everybody.